Welcome to Mocktails and Masterpieces with the Indianapolis Chamber Orchestra. Today's episode is sponsored by Anthony Team Realty. On today's Mocktails and Masterpieces, a wonderful feature on Principal Oboe Leonid Sorotkin. Filmed recently by the Indianapolis Star, Leonid discusses his background, early musical training, and what it's like to master two instruments. We hope you enjoy this profile on a talented and inspiring member of the Indianapolis Chamber Orchestra. My name is Leonid Sirotkin. I play oboe and English horn, and uh, I'm principal oboe with Indianapolis Chamber Orchestra and Fort Wayne Philharmonic. Uh, I play English horn with Fort Wayne Philharmonic, uh, and I teach at DePaul and Anderson Universities. Yeah, I uh, was born and grew up in St. Petersburg, Russia, and uh, in a very musical family. My brother is a musician, my mother is a piano teacher, and I started my piano education uh, at the age of five and oboe at the age of eight. Um, after eighth grade, I went to the special professional music college uh, for four years, and uh, after that uh, to St. Petersburg Conservatory, um, where I did my master's degree. In general, oboe school in the United States, uh, as much as I don't like to generalize those things, uh, is um, very different from European and Russian playing. Uh, the school was developed in the, <clears throat> 19, in the beginning of the uh, 20th century uh, by French uh, oboist Marcel Tabuto, who established very well-known and strong school of oboe playing. and. Uh, it, it is different in the concept of sound, in the concept of read making, uh, in the concept of approach to the tone in general. Uh, I had to really get familiar with that and uh, I would say relearn some things in the way of sound production and read making as well. I find myself more and more that I'm way much more fascinated by music itself than by any particular instrument in, in general. And uh, for me, it just so happened that I'm an oboe player, an English horn player. Uh, I wish I would be a piano player. Um, but uh, often, oftentimes, we as musicians or as a students, we find our focus on an instrument being a primary goal, mastering the instrument. And while it's a very intense and noble task, uh, this by itself doesn't have a purpose. Why do we want to master instrument? Why do we want to get the uh, ability to play perfectly? To me, all of that is there exclusively to express how we feel about music so our listener can feel what we feel. To me, music is significantly larger and richer than any particular instrument by itself. <laughs> <laughs> 